What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. We're back at the chicken composting system. It's time to get this thing started up again. It has been quite a while since we've done an update on the chicken composting system. I have not been making compost out of it lately. I made enough compost over the winter to be able to supply what I needed and now it's time to start the process back over. Now in the fall, if you saw me start this last year, 2019, I started with leaves. Now in the spring and the summer, all the trees have their leaves again and there's no leaves on the ground. So what are we using? Well, in the springtime, we hatched out a bunch of chickens. So we hatched out about 150 chickens this year, close to 150 chickens this year, and with that comes a lot of bedding. So you need to keep your bedding clean for your baby chickens or else they're gonna get sick. So we've been taking that bedding, we'll put it in the chicken compost system. I also use grass clippings. So hay, AKA grass clippings, goes in this system also. So instead of using leaves, since we don't have leaves, we're using what the land can give us. In permaculture, we're gonna look at nature, see where the excess is in nature, and then we're gonna use that excess. And right now, I cut the grass, I have an excess of grass clippings, boom, goes into the chicken composting system. So it's a little bit different material that we're using in the spring and the summertime than we would in the fall and the wintertime. Now there is a few shavings. We buy shavings at Tractor Supply to put with the bedding in the chickens, in the, in the small chickens. The ones that we hatch out, we put shavings in. And some straw, every once in a while we use straw as that bedding to soak up their manure and stuff. So in here, there's shavings, straw, grass clippings, um, and I think that's it. I'm gonna take you guys in real quick, show you what it looks like right now in the spring. Um, doesn't look a whole lot of different than it did in the winter and the fall, but I still wanna show you what it looks like. We just got a nice rain today, so it's all mucky in here and all quite mushy. Really, really dark stuff in here from the compost we've been making over the winter. Uh, there's probably a good inch of it just sitting right here. But it's mushy. Definitely need you guys some good boots if you're going to do something like this. These are some rock roosters. You guys ever heard of rock rooster? Go check them out. Uh, Rockrooster.com. Or you can check out their Facebook page and their Instagram page. All that information will be in the bio. Or excuse me, down in the description. Really good boots. I mean, I've bought muck boots before. And they always get holes in them. These, have, these are leather steel toe water resistant waterproof excellent boots weight made really really well definitely recommend them so here is the koopy coop Let's see if we can get a little more light in here for you it's starting to get it's about so now 7 30 7 45 at night right now I'm trying to get this work done this hot this hard work during the cooler hours of the day so we still got their nesting boxes this is what they're laying in the egg crates Next in Bostics, and then we got the roost all over the place. There's a roost right down here, a roost there, the main roost where they sleep on there. Well, oh, one girl's trying to go to bed already. Look at you. You are early sleeper, huh? Another roost over here. And of course, their favorite spot to lay eggs, not in the egg basket, down there. So let's collect those eggs, get the portable roost out. That big roost out there is nailed to the coop so it doesn't move. But we'll get these little roosts out, scoop it all out. And what we're going to do, let me back it up here. So we'll put it up against this wall. Some of it on this side. And then also some of it on this side. So let's get to work. we got a lot to scoop out in there. There's our beautiful eggs.
right guys, that's good enough. It's starting to get dark. It's starting to be the chicken's bedtime, so we need to stop so they can come to bed. And we're pretty much got it all cleaned out. Let me show you what it looks like, but let's talk about it a little bit first. First off, forgive me for sweating. North Carolina humidity, it's 100%. So we're pretty much swimming in the air. Uh, it just sticks to me, I sweat bad anyways. So I'm gonna be sweating while I'm talking to you guys. So we got a nice size, hmm, had a hair. Nice size compost pile right behind us. The start of one. Like I said, I took everything out of the chicken coop. We had shavings, we had hay. We actually had a little bit of leaves left in there I forgot that I collected and bagged up. I actually got those from my brother's house, had them in bags, and then used them in here. So we had some leaves, some shavings, some grass clippings, some hay, some straw, a whole bunch of different stuff that was in there as their bedding. It, it soaked up their poo overnight. So overnight they're sitting in there eight to 12 hours, depending on the daylight. And all night they're pooing everything they ate. So it, that poo is going on top of this bedding material, on top of the shavings, on top of all that stuff. So and then it starts mixing in. Their poo is the nitrogen for the compost piles. Remember, we need four important things, which is nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, and water. These things were pretty moist. Like I said, we're in 100% humidity, so stuff stays pretty humid out here, pretty sticky, pretty moist. So it's pretty wet. We got some rain today. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain tomorrow, so it's gonna wet down again. We got the nitrogen from the poo. It's wet. The carbon is in the shavings and all that other material, the bedding material. That's the carbon that's in there. And then we had, what, oxygen? That's what we just added to it. What do you mean we just added oxygen, Bill? Well, here's what I mean. Every time we took a scoop of that compost and we put it over here, oxygen was going all through that scoop. Attaching oxygen molecules, attaching itself to the, to the particles inside. So now the microorganisms, the bacteria that breaks down the material and turns it into compost for us, now it has the oxygen it needs to do its job. As it was sitting in the coop, it was kind of getting stagnant in there. It was just sitting there flat. No oxygen can penetrate. Every time a chicken dug a little bit, it would add a little oxygen in that area. But pulling the whole thing out oxygenated everything in there. So now it's got all the ingredients it needs to really start cooking and heat up and give us a nice compost. The size of your compost can be important. You want around a three foot volume, which is uh, squared. Three foot squared, three foot, three foot, three foot. I found is the smallest you need to have it unless you have a lot of nitrogen in there to be able to heat up, break down. The heating up process helps it break down and also it's the microorganisms feeding and breaking stuff down. So the heating up process is it breaking down and you can get it done a lot faster when you have at least a three foot by three foot volume. If you guys haven't been around for my chicken composting videos before, I'm gonna drop a link in the description Go to the beginning. But just to let you know what I'm gonna do, how the process works for me, it's gonna sit there. We're gonna move it from the corner it's in over here, and we'll move it over here, into this corner. As it's sitting here, the chickens are gonna kick this apart, they're gonna be pecking it apart, both piles, and it's gonna end up everywhere. And then we'll add air back to it, put it in this corner. After a week or so here, we'll move it into bay two. Bay two is out here where the cinder blocks is. So first we'll start off with the piles in each corners. And slowly but surely, the chickens are gonna be kicking those piles apart. And I'm gonna be coming back in, scooping it up, and throwing it back up against the wall. And we're gonna snail this compost material all the way down the wall until we get outside. When it's outside, we'll tarp it, or we'll cover it so the chickens don't have any access to it, and we'll let it sit there for a little while. And that, in a nutshell, is our chicken compost system. I got the idea from Edible Acres, and I also see Holler Homestead, Ben from the Holler Homestead, he uses something very similar to this, where he uses his chicken bedding to make his compost. So it works very well, it's a great system. I know a lot of people just bought chickens in this pandemic, so there's more than just eggs you can get from your chickens. You can make beautiful compost and put it in your garden every year. All right, y'all, so that's all we got for this installment of the chicken compost system. If you liked it, make sure you th smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It'll let you know every time I put a video out of the chicken compost system. Oh, also, if you wanna see the first video, click on that one over there. It'll take you to the beginning. You can watch the whole series. And if you wanna see how I built this coop, over there. Later, y'all.